Welcome back to the Countdown to Dominion. This time, I am reviewing The Lost World Jurassic Park, released on May 19th, 1997, directed by Steven Spielberg. The Lost World Jurassic Park is loosely based off Michael Crichton's book, The Lost World. The book acts as an unofficial remake of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's book, The Lost World, which has received numerous adaptations. Four years after the events of the first Jurassic Park, John Hammond reveals to Ian Malcolm that he happened to have a second island with dinosaurs. It seems the dinosaurs are thriving, and Hammond wants Malcolm to observe and document the animals before Peter Ludlow, Hammond's nephew, who is taking control over the company, purges the island. The Lost World Jurassic Park is very different from its book counterpart, but it is a solid follow-up. The film introduces Site B, also known as Isla Sorna, or Sarcasm Island. This expanded the world of Jurassic Park and opened up more possibilities to explore. Isla Sorna stands out with its scenery, whereas the first was shot in co Isla Sorna stands out with its scenery, whereas the first film was shot in Kauai, this film was shot in Prairie Creek Redwood State Park. Many of the dinosaurs from the last film returned, such as the iconic T-Rex and Velociraptor, but the film brings in some newcomers as well. The effects used to bring them to life are just as well done as the first film with the mix of CGI, animatronics, and puppetry. Plus, the film provided more interesting color schemes for the dinosaurs. One issue I had with the first film was the dull color schemes. This film gave the dinosaurs more colors and showed things like sexual dimorphism. Once again, Jeff Goldblum returns as Ian Malcolm and he plays him perfectly. While Ian was an overconfident and aggravating know-it-all in the first film, here he is down to earth and acts as the voice of reason. But he still has a sense of humor. Mommy's very angry. The film introduces many new characters, but the standout is Roland Tempo, played by Pete Pothelwaite. His character is complex, quotable, and interesting. A male, a buck only. How and why are my business? Now, if you don't like either of those two conditions, you're on your own. So go ahead, set up base camp right here, or in a swamp, or in the middle of a wreck's nest, for all I care. But I've been on too many safaris with rich dentists to listen to any more suicidal ideas. Okay. The best thing going for this movie is the more cynical and bleak tone. This film got downright brutal and really pushed the boundaries for PG-13. <laughs> It also helps this film has John Williams returning for the soundtrack. <laughs> However, this film suffers from some scrapped scenes that would have fleshed out the characters more and given some more context. But even with these issues, The Lost World is a sequel that deserves more credit. <laughs> rating scale, I'm going to give The Lost World Jurassic Park four and a half stars. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you really enjoyed it, share, and subscribe. Next time, I will be reviewing Jurassic Park 3. See you then!